Sia Melendez, real estate entrepreneur, bringing you valuable content about business and real estate. Today, I want to talk about a subject that is pretty scary for all of us, having problems paying your mortgage. Believe me, it can be scary. My husband and I have been there. We got through it. And if you're one of these people, you will get through it too. I would like to look at two avenues for help that we have currently, deferments and forbearance. A lot of people use the words interchangeably, but there is a big difference between both of them. Before I dive into the subject, please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe so I can continue bringing you more valuable content. Deferment is where your lender actually defers your current mortgage monthly payment and adds those payments onto the end of your loan. With a deferment, you are just taking a few months off paying for your mortgage and those payments are automatically added at the end of the mortgage. For instance, if your mortgage is currently 20 years and you defer payments for three months, you would basically be extending the life of your mortgage by three months. Our lender reached out to us last summer at the height of the pandemic and offered us a three month forbearance and we decided to take it. It was for our commercial property. We don't have any intention of trying to pay that mortgage off anyway, so why not? They basically allowed us to miss three months of paying the mortgage and that three months is going to be tacked on to the end of our loan. It was a great win-win situation for us. Every lender handles deferments differently. Usually they're, they're offered to people that have been up to date with their mortgage with no prior credit problems. So reach out to your lender and see if this is an option available to you. Now let's look at forbearance. With a forbearance, it's a temporary holdback from making your monthly mortgage payment. Could be from three months to up to 12 months. But at the end of that period, the bank would expect you to pick up or basically catch up and become, become current with any of your missed payments. Now, a forbearance differs in that with a forbearance, your lender is giving you a period of not paying your mortgage, but at the end of that period, whether it be three months or 12 months, they would expect you to pay back that lump sum and also to continue with your regular monthly payments moving forward. How they decide you're going to pay back that missed payments, those missed payments, is what makes difference between uh, a lot of lenders. If you skip payments in April, May, and June, on July 1st, all of those payments are going to be due plus July's payment. Homeowners who don't fully understand this may feel, find themselves blindsided when they receive a massive bill down the line. Of course, with the current CARES Act, our government has made it easier for us to renegotiate those forbearance payments. They don't want to see a massive uh, load of foreclosures all over the country. Overall, forbearance is saying, listen, Something has happened to my financial situation and I cannot pay. What can you do to help me? Both mortgage deferment and mortgage forbearance is a temporary stop on making your monthly payments. But afterwards, those missed payments will be expected to be made. Lenders may choose to structure a payment plan for your missed forbearance payments. Okay? But it should be a last resort before you even think about taking it. Something to be, to be avoided at all possible. In a little while, I'm going to tell you some of the important questions to ask your lender if you decide to go for a forbearance. But remember that when you have a forbearance, it doesn't necessarily mean that the interest will stop accruing. accruing and it does not mean that you're not going to have to make that principal and interest payment at some later date. Listen, basically, they're not giving us anything. While a short-term forbearance could lead to credit issues for some families down the road. Regardless of whether we contemplate a forbearance or deferment, be very clear that the banks are not giving us anything. Nothing is free. Yes, the pandemic has affected a lot of us, and because they do not want to see a rush of foreclosures, the financial institutions 
backed by our federal government, have made it a lot easier for us to manage our mortgages in the short term. Okay. The most important thing to do, however, is not to be in denial, as mentioned at the beginning, but to reach out to your lender as soon as possible and definitely before you are forced to miss a payment. Once you contact them, they will let you know what your options are for relief. Now, this is key. Don't wait until you can't pay your mortgage to call your lender. Call them before you have problems. That is the key to not having your, your credit report um, suffer substantially. Now, let's think about it. Borrowers that have been in good standing prior to the current crisis may be able to do a modification, wherein any monthly payments missed now are simply tacked on at the end. For me, that would be the best scenario. Before seeking mortgage forbearance, please make sure to ask these questions of your lender. What options are available? Is it a one-time lump sum payment at the end of the forbearance period? Or will they restructure your loan so that you can have those payments added on to your monthly mortgage payment? Will interest continue to be calculated during the length of time I am not paying my mortgage? Will there be any fees? How will this be reported to the credit bureaus? Do we need to pay my escrow to cover taxes, insurance, and mortgage insurance during this forbearance period? Very vital question to ask. Remember, if you ignore your financial problems, they will only get worse. Believe me, like I said, I have been there. I know how it can be. Whether forbearance or deferment, the effect on your credit report should be a neutral if you act in time before you have problems. It's not positive or negative on the credit report, but we know that if you actually miss a payment without your lender being aware of it, that will ding your credit significantly. One thing to keep in mind is that now, if you can pay your mortgage, just go ahead and pay it and don't ask for relief. It's always better to make your monthly payment if you can. Another thing to remember is that it's very important to get whatever they offer you in writing. Okay, let them specify exactly what is going to happen so that down the road, if there's any discrepancies, you will have something in writing to verify what they said and what they're going to allow you. Bottom line is, don't ignore it and just not pay anything and pretend it will go away. That's absolutely going to affect your credit report in the long run. Whether forbearance or deferment, the effect on your credit report should be a neutral if it's something that you plan for in conjunction with your lender. But you know that if you just willy-nilly miss a mortgage payment, that is going to dig your credit significantly and it does take a while for those missed payments to come off your report. So get it in writing, reach out to them, find out what's available, ask the questions, and get it in writing. Good luck until the next time.